we are in the dispensations whereby if care is not taken, Christians will be served as a matter. The government do always want to have anything to do with Christianity. So in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bless the living God for today. My name will remain Apostle Peter Daniel, by the special grace of the living God. You are watching me in Heaven and Earth Life program, the one we usually do every day. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, today, I have some uh, the deep in revelations to share to everyone that is listening to me now uh, concerning what the living Jesus Christ told me and what he has revealed to me about what is to happen to the church and to all the Christians all over the world. Uh, the Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, by the special grace of God, about, uh, is it a few months ago or so, the Lord revealed something to me about the church and about the federal government, about the plans they have for the church. And the Lord said, as you tell the, the church to pray. The Lord said, I should tell the church to pray. And the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, before we go into the message, let us pray. Everlasting Father, we want to appreciate you for everything you have done. We want to thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for your fire. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for touching everyone here and right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to take perfect control in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you once again in Jesus' name. The topic of the message I'm going to give today is uh, the plans of the federal government concerning the church. About a few months ago, the Lord showed me some revelations and uh, the fears of what I saw concerning the federal government. I know it's something you have been noticing and what you have been seeing. Uh, so if you do, if I'm talking about this, it might not be really um, so, so new to you. But I also want you to know that uh, it is not the time to be sleeping at all or the time to be slobbering. It is just time to stand right and uh, know what we are doing. Because I saw in that revelation that a president of countries, they were going around searching for Christians and churches to close them down. I saw pastor going around, I mean, I saw government, the federal government, sending the soldiers and the policemen to harass the people. Though you have been seeing that, you have been seeing that. But I'm telling you, the plan that is going on right now, I'm telling you the plan that is going on right now. It is when the Lord showed to me that, and uh, one of some of our members who came from the United States, who is not basically from Nigeria, who is basically born in the United States, they came to tell me what is going on there. And I begin to know that this thing is everywhere. I saw the president of the country. I saw our own president. Oh Lord, he said the whole president of the country. He was going around with vehicle. He himself will be in that vehicle with the soldiers and the police, you know, the security forces, FBI, and so on and so forth. They were going from one place to another, hunting down torches. No reasons. No reasons. They are just hunting down torches everywhere. It's everywhere. He come to a level that Christian cannot be practice, practice outside the gate. It becomes a home cell practice. It becomes a, a secret place practice. And the Lord is warning right now that I should tell the church to pray, pray, pray. One of our members came here from the United States as he arrived into the, into the Holy Israelite camp. As you arrive, 
So he, I, I, he came to my office. So we are just discussing. He was so happy to be here. He told me what he has faced as a believer in United States. He is not in Nigeria. He's basically born in United States. And he said, somebody who is close to, uh, he said, he's somebody who is of the range of 59, I mean, 49 to 50 years old. So he was telling me that he, he, they will start persecuting him since when he was shy. He sees persecutions. He said, he said nobody should talk about the United States for him. That is a Babylon. The man begin to sleep outside the house because he gets afraid of what might happen at any moment. You know, he told me United States is a city of the devil, the real city where the devil lives. There are things you needed to know that you are not aware of. There are things you needed to understand that you are not aware of. Is that we are in the dispensations whereby if care is not taken, Christians will be served as the martyrs. You will be served as the martyrs. You might be seeing things going on peacefully for now, but if you see, if you go to some certain level, even in the country you are, whether it's in Nigeria or whatever, you see that when they come to Christianity matter, they always want to set aside. The government do always want to do anything, to have anything to do with Christianity. Me, I don't know, but I was just there. The Lord showed me the revelation. I saw the president of the nation holding that churches. When it's going to happen, I don't know. How it's going to happen, I don't know. But that is what I saw. I said, Lord, what is going now? You said that it's going to happen. Persecution is going to rise. I said, oh, Lord. So that is the reason why, as a Christian, you need to pray. Not only that. Now that God is telling us that we should all prepare and all uh, come to the camp and to become a, 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 to become one as a Christian, probably these are one of the reasons. I am not asking you to run away from uh, from uh, persecutions. You can remain, but in the issue of God instructions, the reason why you have to be in the camp was because God it was written in the Bible. But I'm just saying this as a body of Christ, that the body of Christ need to pray. Otherwise, something will go wrong. One of the things that is happening is that they were taking, they are taking away the right of the people from them. Taking away the right of the people, taking it away from them. There will no country you go to now. That if you want to fight for your right, you just waste your time. No right. They are not giving people right again. They are taking their right, wanting to enslave them so that they will be under their, their rules. But go and be doing worldly. You know, be, become worldly person, become a gay, begin to do a dirty and corruptible things in the presence of God that will give you an access to the president. Tell them you want to see the president, they will tell you you're welcome. Because it is, I'm telling you things. And this is happening everywhere. Even Nigeria here. Even Nigeria here. The things that is going on right now is so wicked and is so devilish. For past, for past a, a two months or a month now, people have been suffering from the one thing or the other. And what I saw is that when the president come in, people will suffer. I called the member, I called the pastor, I said, listen to me, this, this president you are talking about is an evil man. And the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So what am I trying to say is that let's pray well. Let's pray well. Let's pray well. In the Lord help us in Jesus' mighty name. We will not find ourselves in problem in Jesus' name. This is a short message. I just want to let us be aware, which means that even though you are going on the street now, as a Christian, you have to be very, very, very careful. Don't just go anyhow, anywhere, anyhow. No, don't do that. The reason is because at the moment, it is out. Now, fine.
God bless you in Jesus' name. Shalom. Please share this message to everyone and subscribe to this channel. May the Lord be with you in Jesus' name. Amen.